Well, what are we fixing today? Today, and you may have seen me do this other times, but today I'm at the cottage and I love my bidet so much at home, we're getting a bidet. So let's put that in. It's right over, it's right over there. Right, see it? Right there. All right. So this is the um, Amazon warehouse special. I don't know what's wrong with it, but uh, if you can pronounce that name, that's the name. Don't know what it is. I don't think it's pronounceable. All right. Safety first. Well, safety, safety is one of the things. Let's say. All right. As my wife just said, good. I'm sick of sitting on cold seats. Somebody has definitely been in here. All the plastic's gone. There is a sprayer. There is the blower. And all the things. There are the things to hold it in. Here's the remote. Here's the water. Here's the bolts. Here's the other bolts. So I think we got everything. Looks like to me. So let's go. Let's go look at the toilet. So here's the toilet. It looks like it'll probably work. So let's turn the water off. Flush the toilet. So, okay, that looks good. I'll take this off here. Well, let's take this off here first. I may need a screwdriver, so we'll see if it's turning here. Okay. Need like the biggest screwdriver you probably own because this needs a big wide thing here. This one's coming okay too. These plastic screws are nice. You might run into brass ones here, which might be really corroded. Um, you're going to end up having to fight those. In other words, uh, penetrating oil, pliers. Um, your best hope is that they come loose. Your second best hope is that they snap. Uh, remember, you're working with porcelain here most of the time, which means that you can't hammer on it or stress it too badly because it will bite you. And you'll need a new toilet. Bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. All right. Out with the old, in with the clean. Let's clean that up. So these end up going into the hole. And they don't want to go. There we go, that's one. Start it. The best way to get them to go, actually, to put this in here, Throw it in there a ways so that you won't mess with it. Do the same here. This one doesn't want to start. So I'll just get this threaded in there. I would bet this is why the last people didn't uh, send this back to the warehouse. They couldn't get these in. Didn't know how. But that was when 
judicious use of a hammer comes in handy. Don't hit the porcelain, you gotta hit the bolt. And what it'll do is it'll stretch this out and make it kind of fit in there. So let's just like that. Do the same over here. Very tight. There it goes. Once you get them in, take the screws back out. And then work on part two. Now, all right. I think that what I'm going to do is I hate to do this to you, but I think I'm going to. I'm going to switch because with the toilet seat here, it gets kind of in the way. All right, so we're going to take this off. That's not going to work there. What do we got here? Yeah. So here we got some fittings in the bag. And that's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. I can't go here because this is already pressured in there. Nice. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it today. A few moments later. I'm gonna have to come up with a couple adapter hoses. But in the meantime, I'm gonna mount the seat because I already took the other one off. Alright, here's our seat with our things sticking in there. And what we have here. The other part of this. So the button is button is here. Push that button in and then this pops out. To be correctly oriented, it goes like that. We have these two thingies. We're gonna figure out kind of where these go. Now it's just kind of squishing that rubber under there. But this doesn't have to be crazy tight. Alright, that's on there. The only other things to do are to plug this in, which I'm not going to do because I can't get water in it. And then hook up the water. So, when I come back, that's what we'll do. Well, it's a new day. It's a good feeling. Every night, we're going to go into Mr. Rogers some other day. Not today. But, got some stuff from uh, the hardware store. So, Let's take a look at that. So I bought this coupling because I have pecs coming up the bottom down there. And I bought this, this. And it turns out that the stuff I had, these two adapters, 
were to adapt this here, which is metric, to um, th 3 8 pipe compression, which this is a 3 8 pipe compression fitting, and so is this. So, um, it looks right. The man assures me it's right, so we're going to say it's right. Now, why the pecs? We're going to start there. This is this is PEX. This I don't know, it looks kind of brown there, white down there. That's a crimp PEX fitting. So we're gonna have to where are my camera things. We're gonna have to cut this off here somewhere. And we're gonna have to put that shark bite on there and then um, do some magic. Okay. Give you a different view here from Underneath, here's the uh, turn on off, and here's the connection to the toilet. I gotta get this off. And I don't know where the players as I had yesterday, but I think this is also a wrench that would do this kind of thingy. Maybe. Well, so I made it move. Alright, there's that. And this I need to cut off. Go there. And now the shark bike fitting fits right next to the other one. And it still ain't great. If I can get that down some, I should be better off, but there'll be a little trouble in the basement. I'll give that some work. Let's turn it on and see if it leaks. So right now, there is water down here, but I think it's from all the work I was doing. So I'm going to wipe this up and make sure it's really dry. And then check it in a little while, because I can't see or notice anything actually leaking. It's just like the world's worst plumbing job at the moment. But if I sink that down in a little bit better, and then it'll fit better. So we have the next Let's get the cord out. There's the outlet. Here's the plug. Well, of course, if I could go in like that, it would fit just fine. But that's backwards. So I have to try to do this backwards. And then do a thing. Now well, let's find the remote. Hold it for the remote and the remote. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Let's see if it has a battery. And no. Let me get some batteries. A few moments later. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I put this semi see through plastic container here. And it's going to be between you and the world. Now, if you look here, the thing says seating sensor or induction or whatever if i put my hand on there then it turns the thing on so the theory is if you're if you don't have it uh if you don't have something warming that up or cooling it down or touching it it ain't gonna work so take the button I think somebody's there. So now we're going to turn on that. See the little thing come out? Not spraying water. And you can make it move. Okay, that's changing pressure. Now 
Now it's changing pressure and moving in and out. There's all kinds of things it can do. As you can tell. And we're gonna hit stop. And that little thing goes back into the hiding spot. Um, I'm going to change the water pressure, the starting position. Child wash means it must come way out to the front, I think. Um, and, you know, like, bidet is more for what the ladies want, and the rear is more for, like, what everybody wants, <laughs> I guess. You could turn on massaging, which makes that move. Um, hot and cold, which will change it from hot water, cold water, hot water, cold water, I guess. I haven't seen that one before. Energy turns off the heater, and yeah, seat temp. Changed, and if you haven't had okay, so these three buttons, we probably want it on two. That's where we usually keep it at home, and that's the temperature of the seat that you sit on. We also got uh, water temp. It's on two. We're gonna leave it on two as well. That's how it works. And you take my hand off and it's gonna go beep because I'm off. That's that. That's how it works. And that's that it works. And that cord. Okay, well there we are. You know, I can't I'm not gonna do it now, but I mean this this picks open and then the little tube comes out and then this comes open for the dryer stuff like that all right well that's my video for today i hope uh if you are going to go install a bidet like this i don't know how to say it but that's the name take a look at the uh, uh description for a uh, link to this but if you want to install one that's how you do it uh, even when you're up north and away from civilization and have to go find a hardware store in order to not even know where it is in order to get pieces. But, you know, people are helpful. Uh, if you uh, want to give me a like, likes are great. I would uh, love a like. If you don't love to like me, then just give me two likes. Bing, bing. And we're all set. Because then I won't get a like. But I won't get an unlike, because unlikes are not like likes, they're less likable. So, you know, and if I could figure out where the camera is on this and still look at my face, I'd be better off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Until next time, uh, don't flush your opportunities down the toilet. Bye.